Hey, what's going on, everyone? Zach here, aka Dynamas. And yes, it's time. As promised, I am going to be creating a QA video, as I've said before. And today is the day that I'll be doing just that. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty damn excited for it. There's a good amount of questions, I think, that what that has been sent. And I think it's definitely more than enough for us to uh, for me to at least like read through what questions you guys might ask and i'll try my best to um answer them properly yep <laughs> that's pretty much gonna be it um well actually not really because actually uh, i'm planning to also have a few things to note and ask questions as well uh, and everything else there's a bunch of stuff that i want to talk about aside from just a q a so yeah, but first, of course, without further ado, let's start it off with the questions and answers. The main body for today's video. Oh, and by the way, I have Uzawa Reza over here. And that's because I actually posted like a Ryuki po uh, image on the community post of when I actually did my uh, post regarding the Q&A. So... <laughs> I decided, you know what? Why not? It's time for her to be highlighted as the main background for today. I also decided to move uh, my avatar to the right corner because when I put it in the middle, it kind of looks weird. It kind of, kind of, eh, it's meh. It's kind of odd. You just see the eyes of Reza and that's it. No happy face. I kind of want to see her. I kind of want to see her smile. And I think it would be better off like this since I could showcase something much better on the left side on the screen so yeah <laughs> without further ado again let's go ahead and start the show or questions yeah all right first question and already right off the bat this is this is quite the question my goodness with the most upvotes l9 cassidy ask how big is your gat you know what if you really want to know it's pretty big for a boy no, I'm not joking. It actually is. Apparently, even my brother and even fuck hell, my mother also said that my yat is surprisingly good. I don't know how to describe. I don't know how they describe it, but it's apparently pretty solid for a boy. <laughs> so I hope that satisfies your answer. Then next question by Nectaxal, one of my apprentice knights, if I remember correctly. I hope you I hope I didn't butcher your name by the way. Questions How utterly cunning and freaky you are towards Wakamo? In Momo Talk, what student's relationship you enjoy the, the most? And the last question right here, what's your first impression when you played Blue Archive for the first time? Good questions actually. So the for as for the first question regarding Wakamo, how cunning and freaky I am, huh? Hmm. Well, it's enough to make it to where it might be one of my first, uh, you know, paragraph cunny posting <clears throat> that I will be able to do on this game. To be honest, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. It's, it's, that, it's that good. Yeah. I don't usually type that long and type freaky shit, but Wakamo, getting, uh, getting to the limits there, I'll tell you what. And my goodness, is Wakamo absolutely gorgeous? I don't care what anyone says. She is practically perfection in the ways of what she can do. Seriously though, she does all the shit for free for Sensei. It's crazy, bro. My, my, my girl here is doing God's work. She tries her best. Absolutely. Like, to the utmost limits. And hell, she's even loyal. What more do you want, bro? Amazing. Anyways, uh, second question. In Momo, uh, regarding the Momo talk, um, which is my favorite student relationship, um, or essentially, yeah, it's gonna be either Wakamo, maybe Hina Dress too. Hina Dress definitely, definitely got got through me as well for sure. And then, of course, you got interestingly enough, this is definitely biased by all means. Wakamo swimsuit, yes. <laughs> Honorable mention is, of course, normal Hina. I absolutely enjoy her as well. And I'd say I actually enjoyed Kikyu as well. Now, I know those those were like five different ones, but there's so many Momotalks uh, that I've read through already. Like, I mean, there's a lot. 
including the alts, right? And just yeah, I I mean, it's just there's a lot of things to be to like point out and stuff like that. And I decided, you know, like these are like my top five, I'd say, so far. And finally, for your final question, my first impressions on Blue Archive when I played it for the first time, I, honest to God, um, I don't remember now. It has been, I don't know how long has it been since the since uh. But, like if I even remember anything regarding what I have done on Blue Archive when I first played it for the first time, because I didn't stream it, I didn't really make content out of it, nothing like that. I just played it, tried it out. I think on like a phone or was it on an emulator? See, I don't even remember the f where the fuck that I even first played it. <laughs> but all you need to know is, I think I did enjoy the game. Uh, I love the prologue. That's for sure. I think I do remember myself loving the prologue. And remembering some scenes about it because well before i even actually played blue archive i saw some uh content already about it so yeah it was kind of kind of cool to see and yeah not much to say regarding that sorry i really just don't remember much <laughs> it's been a while now but i definitely enjoyed my first time playing it for sure and as you can see now oh i have definitely grown a lot more into the game all right Next question. All right, by Natsu Genshin One Two Three. What inspired you to do YouTube, and who is your favorite student besides Wakamo and Hina? Hmm. All right. So let's start off with YouTube. Honestly, what inspired me to do YouTube came all the way back in my childhood days. I think I was like around six years, six or seven years old. I think seven, seven. I think maybe seven. I know I was very young at the time when I got introduced to compute to do to play computers and stuff like that because my father like uh, bought our first ever computer and yeah that was pretty cool but at some point my brother decided to uh, suggest me to to watch on YouTube like I didn't even know that YouTube was an application at the time <laughs> I, I, I had zero idea but. Um, yeah, then my brother decided, hey, uh, you should uh, give it a shot. Um, and uh, he ma he gave me like a Minecraft YouTube video that he suggested. I, if I remember correctly, one of my first ever videos was a YouTuber known as LD Shadow Lady. Very OG Minecraft YouTuber, by the way. And I think to this day, she still creates Minecraft uh, content. That's insane dedication. Absolutely incredible. Um, but yeah, regarding that, when I first got into the video, I was incredibly impressed and entertained when I was when I was that young. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I got so I like I like I don't know I don't don't think it's called envy, but like I absolutely adored and enjoyed watching someone commentate and do like gameplay and stuff like that. I generally do like at the time like there wasn't much edits. It's just commentary, gameplay, and uh, talk about what's going on and stuff like that. Like that's usually what it was back in the good old days on YouTube when it comes to uh, YouTube uh, YouTube playthroughs, right? Or game uh, any game essentially, especially Minecraft particularly. There weren't there were barely any edits as uh, compared to what it is right now. And just from like how they talk and stuff is really what made me uh, actually self uh, self learn how to like speak in English too aside from like you know school teaching you stuff um, and I just uh, already like at the time thought of like oh, I really I wanna I wanna I wanna do YouTube now I wanna I wanna actually make content out of it uh, years later as well streaming came around as well and like I thought to myself like wow I could I could do this stuff I swear I can let me cook <laughs> it's kind of like that like like YouTube really as honest to god was part of my childhood and that's how as of right now i've decided to like really do like stream make content and stuff like that on youtube it really is that's the reason really as i watch more gaming content creators and other stuff um i really genuinely got to the point where like oh my god i want to try this i want to play around what they what they play i want to uh, do goofy stuff with friends recording it and streaming it as well. I want to do all that stuff. It's it's generally um, entertaining and looks really fun to do in my in my POV at the time. 
And to this day, it still is, honest to God. I, I, playing with friends and recording it, streaming it, it's just a lot of fun. Who is your favorite student besides Wakaman Hina? Uh, you know, the time when I actually need uh, inform, uh, I need a name that I particularly uh, love as well. My God, how am I not remembering? Does um uh, does non-playable students count by any chance? If so, I'd say as of right now, Akira, Akira, one of the um one of the uh, prisoner students in the game right now. Uh, she's unplayable, unfortunately. As for as for students that are playable, though, there's a I have a lot of students that I absolutely love. But if I had to pick, let's say like an old student. Suzumi and Shiroko might be ones that I absolutely adore and for sure in the future I will absolutely love Shiroko Terror or Kuroko now that's something I'm gonna be very much in love of soon enough that she'll be playable in the next five months on our servers yeah Shinji Bankai all right, next question. We got Ginger Runner over here with two. Oh boy, the first, second one is certainly interesting, but we'll start off with the first one. Any other characters you plan to do a doujin review of? Oh, there is a lot to go through. There is a lot. The next one I've been thinking about is probably Wakamo, she, since she is my most favorite student at the moment. I would definitely love to do a doujin review of Wakamo. Maybe Shiroko, although there isn't that much Shiroko. Izuna, I think I've heard someone suggest that as well. I'm pretty interested in that too. And yeah, there's just a lot more characters. There's definitely a lot of characters to go through. Hoshino as well. Forgot about that. Oh my god. Why did, how did I forget about Hoshino? But yeah, those definitely are like something that I probably would go through first before anyone else. There's definitely a lot to review of. There's definitely tons of students that I want to go through. But maybe, uh, but yeah, it's just there's a lot, there's a lot, a lot. As for and honestly, now that I think about it, maybe maybe the Cyber Twins too. <laughs> I think the Cyber Twins or like GD, the GDDD club in general would be lovely to try to make a Dojin review of as well. As for the second question, fuck Mary Kill, Shiroko Shido or Donomi, what the hell? <sighs> Bernard, you'd probably love but what on what I'm about to do. I fuck Shiroko, marry Hoshino, kill Nanomi. Sorry, Nanomi enjoyers. But I just love the two way more. All right, next question. We have Farina asking, what made you start YouTube and why? So like I said before, I started YouTube or what made me start YouTube in no sense um, is because of the content creators I've watched before. Uh, each one was really entertaining for me and I really wanted to give it a shot and I think to myself like it's so entertaining so doing that like being able to uh, have a fun time with uh, with the others and viewers and stuff like that it sounds really cool including streaming of course especially streaming as well because as you can see I stream like every so other day or even every day and I stream even longer for depending on like if how many people are like engaging with me and stuff like that i generally enjoy that shit the most for sure when people are talking about some stuff that i can relate to and have some fun with it that's just incredible for me like it like it, i generally love it it's really cool and as for the reason why i created it um i've said it before but in, uh, having an engagement with viewers and stuff like that sounds really fun for me being able to create content uh out of it and also streaming is something that i actually want to do not just as a hobby but also this is like a full passion that i want to be able to accomplish and i'm happy to say that thanks to you guys who have come around on my channel and you know things like that you guys have all my thanks regarding that the comments the viewers the people who come back for more i have my full 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 fucking gratitude to you guys and if you haven't tell like uh since i did say that i want this i want to put all my passion into this this also means that i actually want to make this as a career i think it would generally be a dream come true for me if i managed to um reach the goal of making it uh, like an actual career i would love to this would be a dream come true literally for me 
All right, next question. Honeybee says, who or how you got inspiration into making your o OC and your name? Uh, OC being original character for anyone who doesn't know. And regarding that question, actually, so here's a funny story. Back in my childhood days, right, um, when I was still pretty young, I think I was like eight, nine years old still. So not even, I wasn't even 10 years old. I think I played, a, I remember playing a game known as Mighty Knight. And there was a sequel that I played, I think like a year after, back in the good old Y8 days. That's all you need to know. In Mighty Knight 2, there was a guy, like a main villain, if I remember, if I remember correctly, known as Daimonas. And he, for my perspective, he looks sick AF as a uh, as a boss, like as a, like a final boss thing. It was really cool. And at the time, I wasn't really that matured, so obviously I just thought of something cool as shit with that. Uh, like, I was inspired by, oh my god, this guy is cool as shit with his cool name. So I decided to, like, copy his name, not knowing that I actually mixed up the M and N, like, basically swapped it into Dynomus. Yeah, and that's how the name Dynomus was born in the first place. <laughs> yes, I was supposed to copy his name. But actually, I just accidentally created my own by swapping the M and N into, from Daimonas to Dynomas. <laughs> As for the original character itself, obviously it was inspired by the very same boss or character from the respective game that I played before. On how it was created, it was initially uh, created by my big bro. He decided to start creating uh, at least the, the shoulders and the face or like, the helmet um, and made like a rough sketch of it and that's was that was my old profile picture back in the days now the keyword old profile picture why because i actually this one that i have right now is actually a reworked a brand new one that was created three years ago by uh, a friend known as Nelly. She is a pretty damn good artist. I have no idea where she is now, unfortunately. I haven't seen her in a while. I do really miss her, but she decided to see like the, I had like this pro picture of my character and he said, uh, I could, I could uh, make this if you want, like rework this or remaster this. And I said to myself, sure, I have no issue. 14 days later, I think or so I remember correctly and she created the uh, this this is her um, the art that she created for me and I absolutely loved it and have put it as my main profile picture even to this very day ever since then so I have my full thanks to um, Nelly absolutely and if you're wondering where is the old art uh, I actually have it as a profile picture on my twitter account actually and if i remember correctly my google account as well so yeah still both the old and the new i still use of course okay pookie here saying can i marry bernand bro i don't know how you're so how am i supposed to cook up with an answer here but hey bro if he says yes then go for it bro <laughs> If you're if you're actually Ibuki IRL, he would say yes in like instantaneously. No no joke. No joke. He would. Absolutely. Knowing Bernan, if you were Ibuki IRL, he would absolutely say yes. I I, I don't even think he would even need your question regarding that. <laughs> Alright, we got Z over here. For the next question, are you going to pull for the Summer Iris Squad or Tactical Hoshino and Shiroko Terror instead? A hard choice though oh um so this one is from the jp live stream for anyone who remembers the 3.5 uh jp live stream on blue archive that shit was hard af that and that was crazy like you guys have no idea how excited i actually got when shiroko terror suddenly came in like what's up what's up bitches <laughs> god like sheesh um if possible i would wanna pull both actually i would love to get both because actually chat i don't even have i don't even have like the original iris uh iris squad i i, I, I literally don't Ar Ar aria squad sorry 
I kind of misspelled it there. Yeah, I, I straight up don't. I don't even have any of the members at all, even to this day on my account. Maybe it'll change after I do some more pullings, but right now I have not a single Arya squad member, so it is pretty pathetic. I could try to maybe get one of them, if possible, but otherwise, I would rather take Tactical Hoshino and Shiroko Terror. Especially Shiroko Terror. If there was a if there was a timeline where I cannot fucking get Tactical Hoshino nor the Arya Squad, Shiroko Terror all the fucking way. It is the biggest priority of my life <laughs> on, on this game now. Like, my goodness. If I don't get Shiroko Terror, bro, I failed as a sensei. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I just, I just really love her. I do not want to lose that opportunity to pull for Shadow Terror. I generally don't. So, yeah. Simzy says, Can you give Great Guy the role Takanashi Hoshino? I want to see him and Burn Ant <laughs> Hoshino. Alright, for context, Great Guy is a member on my Discord server. And Burn Ant is also a member on my discord server a well-known one in fact he's uh, actually part of my moderator so and he's doing a really good job so beautiful shout out to him with that being said Vernon has the takanashi hoshino role due to the fact that he won an uh ba event that i created and for that he i gave him the takanashi hoshino oh hey, hey. Role because Burn Ant is basically a simp for Hoshino. It's his favorite student by far, not even close. And Great Guy is in the same case. Also, absolutely loves Takanashi Hoshino. So, <laughs> essentially, when Great Guy saw that Burn Ant had the Hoshino badge or the role title, whatever you may call it, my man suddenly started. Where did you have that? Where did you get that? How do you get that? Where? How? When? What? <laughs> give me, please! <laughs> give me, give me! And that's essentially how it all went out. And it was pretty hilarious. Now, question is, do I give him the role? Nah. Okay. Next question is... Endervern. Which classes in D, D would you play that is interesting actually i don't i rarely played D, D. like what was the fucking last time i actually like tried out D? dear lord to be honest if there was like your typical classes obviously something like the knight or the barbarian would be something that i would absolutely pick those are usually the two ones that I would. Like anything that's Berserker related or Knight and Defendant related stuff. I'd say even Paladin. I'd say it's not that bad either in my opinion. Um, yeah, it, those are usually the ones that I would usually would pick. Um, you know, if, you, if it's not already obvious from my avatar. <laughs> be honest though, now that, now that you asked that question, um, I do really want to like do like a DD campaign that would be awesome to have but it just takes way too much time just too much although it would be incredible if i had managed to pull it off but you would need like a lot of time and dedication for that to happen so unfortunately i probably am not going to be hosting a DD campaign anytime soon but if i had the capability to do so i would love to absolutely okay next question omnimon says but Zach, do you think you're going to be okay going forward? Hope you don't burn yourself out. Other than that, GG on the streams lately by Aussie. Hope you don't get burned out from it at all. First off, thank you very much for saying that, actually. Like, I under I absolutely understand that not only Omnimon, but I'm sure some of you guys out there would be concerned on how much i am been, been trying to be proactive on YouTube. And I am trying to balance it. I'm like giving myself l some leisure time. Like, I'm giving myself some free time, like, watch an anime or have something that entertains myself or play with friends off stream um kind of like these kind of like uh to balance myself out of trying to create content and brushing stuff streaming all that stuff that might be bad for my health in the long run and yeah that's the thing that you, people worry about the most is, is if a content creator like me would like 
burn myself out. That's really bad. And I don't want that to happen. Personally, I really don't. Um, so I'll actually talk more about that regarding uh, regarding what Omnimon said later on into the video. But yeah, thank you so much for that concern. But uh, so far, I think I'm doing I'm going strong. I think I'm I uh, think I'll be just fine at the moment. Yeah. <sighs> Oh my god, speaking of the devil, here we go. Remember remember great guy, you know, Simzy's question regarding that? Yeah, um, he's here. <laughs> great guy is here asking, can I get Hosh Takanashi Hoshino roll? <laughs> Burnett and me would clap Hoshino. <laughs> and then one of my mods, Gray's here saying, you're so getting bad skull. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, oh, Jesus. As I've said before, come back or replay what I have answered on Simzy's question. I think that's it for the questions. That's all the questions that was asked in the Q&A community post that I have created. So 20 comments in total with a couple from like a uh, reply. But other than that, most of it was a question that i got to answer very nice very nice lovely lovely stuff lovely stuff now here are the next few things i actually want to do guys and that's why i said it's not just going to be a q a it's also going to be other stuff as well but there's but before then i have a few things to answer too like some questions that might be just asked um that hasn't really been questioned here Number one, where is the 12 hour live stream special? Now, this is uh, the 12 hour live stream, alright, guys? I will make it, okay? Don't worry. As promised, okay? I don't back down on the word I say, alright? It's just that I'll be late on that. It's I've just been really busy lately and I just don't have the time to like plan out a 12 hour live stream at the moment. I can't waste 12 hour of streaming in one day at the moment. Not right now, not right now. Actually, I've been thinking about it and I may just like split the um, hours apart into like two days worth. So like in like, like let's, let's say for example, like in the in a weekend, I'll plan it out. Um, on Saturday, I'll do like an eight hour stream. And then on Sunday, I'll also do an eight hour stream. I put in the plus two hour plus two hours on each because um, I typically would be streaming like four hours on like a day so i might as well like split those four hours into two into like into an eight basically so eight hours and eight hours i think that might be more uh, possible for me i'm not gonna lie than like a full-on straight 12 hour live stream i don't know it's your guys call do you guys want me to do that instead uh whenever i actually ha finally have a plan out for this uh live stream special or do you guys want to just stick around with the the 12 hour live stream as i've said before let me know in the comments next is when is part two of the hina dojin review coming out now yeah this one is very important this is not actually a question that i'm surprised no one asked <laughs> um it's probably because i've already talked about this before from stream to stream so understandable but for anyone who's concerned regarding that again like i said i do not back down to my words out of, of what i say this is like lately a lot of stuff is happening and i just don't have the time to uh finish it off but i will promise this right now that i'd say like maybe right maybe after like the live stream special i'll have a the part two doji come out or right before the 12 hour live stream special that i'm creating is when i'm gonna create the hina doji review it's either that there are no no in be no in between afterwards or no anything further than that no anything f uh closer to that it's gonna be whether just right before or after the 12 hour live stream uh number three any plans to do any major updates in the layer aka my discord server now actually if you guys don't know like my discord server i'm not gonna lie it's 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 getting a little bit rusty to be honest it needs uh some updates for sure for sure um because i noticed that some of the modern day like discord servers like community servers like are like really cool and uh, well coordinated optimized and stuff like that my server uh, yeah uh kind of kind of needs a bit more work for sure so i'm actually planning things out with some with a friend of mine 
uh, to update the Discord server and make it better. Now, do not worry. Despite us planning to revamp it, we will not remove anything that's essential. As a, that that makes what makes the Discord server the layer, the 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 the, the um the fucking team. We won't remove that. Do not worry. We have actually talked to this. I've actually talked to my friend regarding that. Like we don't want that shit to happen, and he agrees absolutely. It's just that we're just gonna make things like a qual, basically like huge quality of life changes on the Discord on my Discord server, and yeah, I'd say that's that would be a huge upgrade. To what my current uh, Discord is right now. There's some because there's some channels that aren't usually like super like inactive. Some channels are just simply not used, and some stuff that could look better, like React roles, instructions, and my rules and stuff like that. These those things are in need of change. And yeah, we're planning on a major upgrade on the server soon enough. And the other reason why we're doing that as well is it would be a waste if we don't do that especially since you guys especially my blue archive like viewers you guys are absolutely supporting my um my discord server to the max because literally we're at level three right now and that's absolutely insane for like a 300 plus uh, member account uh discord server so absolutely like huge thank you for everyone who um decided to server boost my um my discord server that's absolutely just like huge i i super appreciate that and then finally questions like this is a kind of like a general question when do you upload videos so i've said this before like a video i've had like but it's a very old video so you guys probably don't even know what, what that video is about anymore so i'll just say it here i typically upload uh every half a week to one week this is very dependent on what kind of video I'm like making next or what Phoenix is cooking up in the kitchen, you know? So it's kind of like that. And for anyone who, who doesn't know who Phoenix and Big Shot, Big Shot is, he's actually like a big part of some of the videos that uh, that is uploaded here. So uh, big thanks to him. He's he like he actually like seriously wants to support me. So I really have my thanks to him. And we'll actually talk more about him later on as i'll be doing a question to you guys next all right time for the questions that i want you guys to answer <clears throat> here are my questions number one do you guys want to see longer videos these kind of like long type videos that i want to create i want to have like a bit of less editing and more of the uh, recorded or stream content I have to be shown instead basically um, that's essentially like the catch behind a longer video obviously there's gonna be less density of um, editing memes and stuff like that that's put on to it because it's a longer video um, if you guys don't want it I'll just I'll just continue on with the short videos but again I really want to uh, know like if you guys want to see that uh, like like those types of video formats next question Number two, do you guys watch my content that isn't a game that you play? I stream mainly Blue Archive, right? And a lot of people here typically loves Blue Archive. But yeah, Blue Archive, Blue Archive, Kani Kani! Whoa! <laughs> All that fun stuff. Don't get me wrong. I absolutely love that. But sometimes, at uh, like on those cases, I have like scheduled streams that I play some, like maybe like Honkai Star Rail or Wuthering Waves. Games that aren't usually, from my experience, not as popular on my uh, streams or videos. They don't seem to perform as well as my Blue Archive streams. And I know the answer, and that's because some people, a lot of people that are active to my channel are in fact from Blue Archive. And of course, they want Blue Archive content. You guys want it as well. But of course, I absolutely will deliver. But I can't always stream Blue Archive. And that brings me back to what uh, Omnimon was concerned about burn, uh, being, you know, burnt out, you know. I was thinking about some point that do I want to like become a full-fledged Blue Archive YouTuber or streamer? But then it came to my mind that if I do that, I'd probably actually burn out. Uh, uh, like as much of a fan I am to the game, I'm, as much as I enjoy this game to the max, I generally don't feel like 
I'll be able to keep continuing if I were to just only stream and play Blue Archive I just can't that's why I sometimes like at least like stream like one or two different games again like Honkai Star Rail Wuwa you name it next question do you guys have any suggestions or feedback to how I currently make content any uh anything regarding that I would uh, love to know actually and regarding that speak of the devil of making content we ha I have Phoenix aka Big Shot on Discord on making blue archive memes on my channel as well and I have a question regarding that as well is he cooking chat <laughs> or viewers is he cooking or is there a recipe that you wanna change uh, in his videos we would love to know honestly we always kind of like want feedback that could make or break a good video like you know you know what I'm saying so far you guys are loving the videos that we cook up with but I just we just uh, want to like get to know if there's something that might be wrong or uh, suggest let us know now here's some things that I'm planning to do or like uh, I like to note things out planning to create a discord channel that you can happily post fan content on when I say like a uh, fan content I mean like something like for example what Phoenix makes like when he features us or myself I think it's time for me to create like a uh, some a channel dedicated to putting uh, your guys like uh, cool shit or whatever it might be on a channel that would be neat and regarding that like Phoenix or Big Shot you may create fan content vids and be shared on my discord or youtube it's not exclusively phoenix that can do this you know you guys for anyone who wants to like make fan made content uh videos and want to be shared to my youtube or discord then be, by all means feel free i generally uh, don't mind um as long as you dm me about it like you know tell me like what's up you guys you want to do this or something and stuff like that and then also another thing to note it doesn't need to be just a video either any fan content is absolutely a thumbs up like absolutely fine like fan arts for example fan arts like psh, like you made like me as like a sensei for example as a fan art cool i i see no issue with that in fact i would love to see the i would love to see like a fan art of myself with some with the games that i respectively play that would be incredible to see and would love to like share that during like a video or a stream it would be absolutely lovely to see that all right now regarding the hina cosplay donation goal i got some good news and bad news i'll start off with the bad news the hina cosplay might take a lot longer than i thought let me explain in detail Firstly, YouTube takes 30% of the revenue I get from your guys' donations and memberships alike. So for example, if you were to super chat for 115 pesos or 2 US dollars essentially, I only get 80.5 pesos or 1.4 US dollars from that. Advertisements from videos or streams that you guys watch for me, YouTube takes 45% off that. That's not even including taxes. Then there's the threshold for how much revenue I must make before I can accept the money, which is reaching 100 US dollars. If I don't reach this by the end of the month, then I won't be able to withdraw and will just store the money for the next end of the month. However, thanks to your guys incredible support for the past one and a half months i believe we have amassed 8.5 k pesos or almost 150 us dollars for my first withdrawal during the end of july another problem has unfortunately occurred i need to use a good portion of that money earned into paying our monthly bills which cost an average of 3.6 thousand to 3.8 thousand pesos or uh, to round it off on us dollars it's 65 per month of course now that is under half of what we have right now so 
looks to be positive, right? But I need to save a good portion of the remaining money as well. That is due to the fact that I may not have enough for the next month. As of this month, I have earned only 18 US dollars. Right now, it's a bit of a... We're in a... I'm a bit of in a bad spot right now. Um, as you as you can see. <laughs> so I'm really sorry for anyone who was hyped about the cosplay since it looked like it was getting closer for it to happen. Now, I do have good news in return. What I'll do instead to make up for it, so all your support will not be in vain, is something that requires very few money. Or nothing at all. Such as ASMR, I know some of you all really want that. Force me to read something insane, whether written by you guys or shared something ridiculous to read out loud, or dumb challenges in game or IRL uh, stuff like eating a lemon or pepper. <laughs> uh, I'll, of course, be setting up smaller donation goals for these too. For example, Let's say if we reach a small goal of 5 US dollars, then I'll have to read one of Bernan's cunny posting out loud. Or another example, if we reach the donation goal of $20, then I'll have to do an ASMR with your guys' made up script. Something along those lines while still having a big donation goal like the Hina cosplay that will eventually happen. So I hope this covers up Everything that needs to be known for you lads. And that marks for today's uh, video. My goodness, I'll, we had to go, I had to go through a lot of stuff, but I hope that should give you guys enough answers and questions alike to um to be satisfied. If you still have any other questions at this point, you can just ask it on like a video that I'm or no 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 not video um like my discord uh, talk to me about it or if you want to just ask it during live streams feel free those two uh options are absolutely fine i don't uh mind at all so yeah um that's the um that's pretty much it thank you all so much for watching this video this was a long one but i hope it answers just about everything that you guys may need to know and with that i'll see you all on the next video or live stream take care everyone and again thank you all so much for all the support and help you guys are all appreciated peace out everyone